What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we are gonna be talking about seven essential apps that you wanna have for your brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now if you missed my first 10 things to do video, I talked about the first 10 things you should do when you take your phone out of the box. Go check that out, I'll link it below. If you haven't bought a Galaxy S23 Ultra yet, I'll have the link below in the description where you can use my link to get a free mystery box with a free case and some other cool accessories if you order through my link. That's gonna be in the description. But today, let's get right into it. Seven apps, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this cool wallpaper and these icons today too, if you stay tuned. So the, these apps all require Samsung's good lock module. So before we even get started, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Galaxy Store and then search for good lock. If you search for good lock, this is a Samsung application, so it's not a third party app, it's right here, by good lock labs. All of these apps I'm going to show you today are actually modules within the GoodLock application. And the very first one that I want to talk about, once you download GoodLock and open it, the first one I'm going to talk about today is called Home Up. GoodLock is split into two separate sides. One's called Makeup, the other one's called Life Up. Makeup is the module that allows you to customize your device in terms of its look and appearance. So if you go into the Home Up module, which you can download directly from within GoodLock once you download the GoodLock application, there's a couple of options in here that people always find appealing and ones that I use personally. Now, if you go into the home screen option, the one option that I use that everyone always asks about is the apps list. This allows you to change your app drawer to a vertical scrolling app drawer instead of the horizontal scrolling app drawer that Samsung has turned on by default. I personally love this. It's one of my favorite things about using HomeUp and it's something that people always ask about in my videos. The other thing that people always ask about is my task changer. If you go down here to task changer, you can change the way the task changer looks from the default to list, grid, stack, vertical list, and slim list. I personally prefer grid, and that's what I have right here is the grid showcase. You guys can see it. I think it looks really nice. So this is the home up application within GoodLock. All of these apps can do various other things, but I'm just highlighting some of my favorite things that each one of them can do. I recommend exploring them in detail. And if you stay tuned to the channel, I will definitely cover more advanced features of each of these applications. Okay, so the next one up is One Hand Operation Plus. So if we go back into Good Luck and we go back to the main menu, on the Life Up side over here, you'll find One Hand Operation Plus right there. And One Hand Operation Plus does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to use your phone easier in a one-handed mode. Basically, it puts these two handles, the left handle and the right handle, which you can change the touch width, the size and the position, up or down, where you want it. And you can basically access various shortcuts from within these handles. You can program different gestures from straight right, straight left, diagonal up, diagonal down, and you can also change it to a long swipe or a short swipe. So you'll notice when I go here and I swipe up with a diagonal swipe, I get some quick settings menu right there. When I do a long swipe over, this gives me my widget view where you can touch and hold widgets. These are the pop-up widgets view. I need to add some new ones there. And then when you diagonal swipe down, you'll see I get this thing to capture the screen, take a nice screenshot. You can use that on things like Instagram, etc. Some really cool features within this application. You can do endless things within One Hand Operation Plus, not just the things I've shown here, but so much more. You can program basically anything you want. Flashlight, get into a specific app, all that cool stuff within One Hand Operation Plus. The next one is Theme Park. Now, if you love customizing your device, Theme Park is the app that you absolutely need for within the GoodLock module. If you go here to Theme Park, you'll notice that Theme Park lets you add custom icon packs, custom volume panels, basically customize the color and look of everything on your device, keyboard, icons, volume panel, quick panel. There's a lot of other GoodLock modules that integrate with this, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but Theme Park is the one that handles all of the different customization pieces. The one that people always ask about is the icon module. This is where you can download custom icon packs from the Play Store, including the one that I'm using today, which is the Aries Colorful Icon Pack from my friends at One Four Studio. The link will be below in the description for this. Basically, all you have to do is download it from the Play Store, then go to Theme Park, apply the icon, save it, and then you'll be good to go, and you'll be able to get these beautiful icons that I have right here. So Theme Park, the number one app in good luck you need to start your customization process. The next thing is Keys Cafe. Now Keys Cafe actually integrates in with Theme Park and allows you to customize the keyboard on your Samsung device. So if you download the Keys Cafe module, it's gonna look like this when you open it. 
What it allows you to do is take the Samsung stock keyboard and add different themes, different colors, and even change which keys are on the keyboard. So if you go to make your own keyboard, you'll see there's a lot of preset keyboards that have different formats like the Dora Keybag, the Simple Keyboard, NES, but you can customize any of these. They've also have ones for math and chemistry. You can choose one or you can just add one to this layout here and then you can edit it. You can put whatever you want on here. They've got emoji, all kinds of different expressive emojis. Uh, you can change where the keys are located. Uh, you can even make shortcuts that you want to put there in the keys yourself. Basically customize it completely for your typing experience. In addition to that, you can style your own keyboard with these really cool keyboard effects and colors, which I really enjoy. The effects especially, you guys see I have the paint splatter effect. So if I go into something like Twitter and I start typing a tweet, you'll see down there at the bottom, the really cool paint splatter that I end up getting on the keys. Keys Cafe is fantastic. It's one of the reasons I love using the Samsung keyboard. The next module is NodiStar. If you go into the life up side of Good Lock, you'll find NodiStar. What NodiStar lets you do is it basically allows you to have a repository on your home screen to store all of your notifications for later viewing. Now, if you go up here to the three dots menu, you'll find the settings part of NodiStar, which lets you do the following thing. You can choose which applications you would like to save notifications to. I recommend choosing some specific ones like email, social media, shipping notifications, things like that. And then you can also choose a filter list to choose notifications to store in that folder by a keyword. I personally don't like that option, but it is one that you can use. Now, I also love the fact that I can choose how long my notifications are stored so that I can review them up to a period of time that's convenient for me. Now, once you do this and you enable it, you'll see on the home screen, you have this up arrow. See the yellow arrow that I have right there? If you swipe up, you gotta swipe in the right spot, but if you swipe up, it'll show you your recent notifications and then you can scroll down and review them or clear all. Now, even if you do clear the notifications, they still will be accessible from within NodiStar. You'll be able to go in there and view them up till the time period that you've selected inside here in the app. The next one is Sound Assistant. Now, Sound Assistant basically allows you to take further control of the sound and volume menu on your device. So if you scroll to the bottom of the life up side, you'll see sound assistant right here. Sound assistant lets you customize your volume panels and you can change you know, obvious things like the color. I've got a particular theme installed that matches my wallpaper. You can also change individual app volumes one at a time, which is fantastic. If you have a bunch of different media apps and you like to keep them at different volumes or gaming apps, you can also change the volume step. I find this to be a very, very helpful uh, way to do things because this is set to 10 by default, but you might want a finer volume step. I like to keep mine at five, and then when you start changing the volume, you can see it only goes up or down by five instead of by 10. That allows you to get finer control of your volume. You can choose your favorite media app, control music with volume keys, lots of other things, but these are just some of the things I love about Sound Assistant. The final app is Camera Assistant. Camera is one of the most important features on any Galaxy device. And if you use the Camera Assistant app, you'll be able to take even finer control, more precise control of the camera on your S23 Ultra. If you install the Camera Assistant, here's some of the things you can do. You can turn on or off auto HDR, soften pictures, something I don't particularly get turned on, but might be useful for some people for photo mode. Auto lens switching, this is something I love to turn off. This is on by default, and you can actually switch it off in Camera Assistant. It's the only way you can switch it off. This auto lens switching is great because then it'll make sure that you're always using the lens that you want to use and not one that's being picked by the smarts or AI using the camera inside that Samsung has determined needs to be used for that photo. Video recording in photo mode basically lets you hold down the uh, shutter to take a video. Number of pictures after the timer, you can change that. Faster shutter, that's probably the most important one. It allows you to speed up the shutter speed on your Galaxy S23 Ultra to capture some action shots. If you have kids, pets, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can also choose the camera timeout time. You can change that, customize it to your liking and clean preview on HDMI displays. All right guys, so those are seven essential apps that you want to install for your Galaxy S23 Ultra immediately. There's a lot more stuff to cover inside GoodLock Obviously, we didn't get to everything today. I'll be making follow-up videos on the other apps. I'll also be making individual videos on each app to go further in depth on what they do. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. 
And as I mentioned, I told you I'd show you where to find this wallpaper. If you would like to get this wallpaper, it's from a uh, app called Wallpaperly. It's right there. It's called Snow Hill by Raj Arya. Check it out. I'll have that linked as well as my icon pack in the description below. Anyway, if you guys like this kind of content, subscribe for more great Samsung customization. And uh, I appreciate you guys checking out this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.